Hey guys, what is the crack? We are in mid Ohio for this week's races. Um, for anybody who's new to this, we've got a lot of subscribers over the last few weeks. I haven't done a track guide in a few weeks. Uh, it took some time off for Christmas and all that. But uh, I do these track guides. This is mid Ohio. A uh, really, really bumpy track. We're driving it in the F3 on Tuesday and we'll be driving it in mixed multi class on Thursday. And I hope to stream both of those. Um, so the format of this is the first little section I go. Uh, through a flying lap, I try to commentate over the flying lap. I don't pause it, anything like that. Uh, then for the second section, I break down the corners step by step. Um, and in the third section, I discuss a little bit of racecraft and setup. Um, so uh, let's go straight into the flying lap and let's go on board. Uh, like I always say, the last corner is uh, uh, extremely important. It's uh, as as important as uh, the uh, the other corners. In the actual lap itself so you need to get a really good run up onto the start finish straight and uh, note that i stayed in third there uh, sometimes short shift into fourth quick dip down into fourth get close to this curb on the left uh, really carry lots and lots of pace here resist the urge to brake keep going in a straight line brake just before this curb on the left keep the car stable down to third gear and ride out the bumps here just let the car get stable as soon as that nose wants to grip in give it power because then you you know you have some grip you can go for it the earlier you can get on the throttle there the faster you can get up this straight keep an eye out for the signs on the left five four three at the two you want to shift down three gears getting close to this curb stay to the right down another gear really really slow here again resist the urge it's super bumpy and here you want to play with the throttle uh, in this section you want to play with the throttle and go as quickly as you can there's no braking here um, down a gear over this corner be careful with your acceleration because it might want to break loose I haven't quite tweaked uh, the setup for that uh, slightly off the throttle here into the left carry as much speed as you can when the curb ends on the right brake go nice and wide and cut back because you um, the sooner you can get on the accelerator there the sooner you are on the start finish straight so let's uh, let's break this down again so as I say, last corner, you just want to get a really, really good run. The more speed you're carrying here, the more speed you can carry over the start finish. So um, just keep keep it pinned here just before the bridge. So we'll rewind there a little bit. Just before the bridge, you'll see I come off the throttle on the brake slightly, turn in and almost give the engine a little bit of abuse, switch down to fourth, try try get into that curb. New subscriber, Peter Kubiak. Welcome along, Peter. This isn't live, but I still have these guys up here because they're kind of funny. Uh, as I do my streams, you'll see those popping up as well. Um, and, and another one, uh, Yeshua Yahweh. Welcome along. Um, so let's uh, let's concentrate here, Lawrence. So slight dab at a break. Keep the car stable. Loads and loads of speed through here. Get out nice and wide to the left-hand side. Don't worry about these brake markers on the left. They're not really... You don't need to care about them. They're just an indicator that there's a corner. Very, very clear corner ahead. Keep it absolutely pinned over this curb. You can grab a little bit of that curb. You can see here, I'm actually, I'm not on it. But uh, don't grab too much of it. Uh, these cars don't like curbs. And as soon as you're facing the apex of this curb on the left, a good hard dab of the brake, down one gear. Oops. Not far enough. Good hard dab of the brake here. Down one gear, keep it stable. Brake again, down one gear. And here I was saying, ride it out. Look at my throttle inputs on the left hand side. Nothing, little bit of throttle. Looking for that grip as soon as you kind of feel that grip and hear, hear the top front tires not squealing anymore. That's when you've got grip, that's when you need to pin it. So up the straight, fast as you can. Five, four, you can see the three on the left. And the two is my brake marker. I'm in sixth gear. Brake really, really hard. Down three gears. Stay close to that curb on the right-hand side. It's easier said than done on this bumpy track. I stay kind of on the middle of the track. In third gear, down to second. Nice and close to that curb on the left. You don't want to go wide there because you will just wash wide. It's an off-camber corner. Um, third gear here. Again, a little bit of discipline. Um, these kind of tarmac sections in the middle 
they kind of show where the optimum grip is uh, but you still need a good line as well so in nice and close and here you want to keep it as pinned as possible you can see me playing with the throttle slightly it's very bumpy and then i as soon as you start going in a straight line here when you see this curb on the left that's my breaking point uh, break down to third keep it nice and stable almost aim for those columns but you still want to have a little bit of an arch over that crest it's a blind crest and again off camber um, I could do that a lot quicker but again it's very very easy to say that it's another thing to put it in practice this is uh, the fourth fastest time on the server right now um, so I just lift off slightly there so I'm going nice and fast in fifth gear lift off slightly try to get close to that curb could have done better there when you see this curb on the left on the right sorry this curb on the right as soon as that ends that's where you want to brake and drop down two gears you can see because it's quite slippy here i'm not actually using the full force of the brake and you can already hear it locking up it's okay to go nice and wide because you get to go in nice and tight again after the corner ends and see what i did the short shift there that i didn't do at the start of the lap but i do the short shift there because this is a really really bad corner um, your your car tends to uh, some of the wheels come loose and as soon as your rear gets loose there or if you get up on the curbs uh, it's going to spin you around so for consistency short shifting there is a good idea so that's about it and um, when it comes to uh, let's go to section three when it comes to setup um, I raised the suspension quite a bit and um, I uh, lowered the uh, bump um, and I raised well actually I, I lowered the rebound as well because the the bump is the absorption of the bumps so I want that to be relatively soft but then when you come off a curb or something like that my rebound is higher than my bump so that the wheels basically want to want to go towards the tarmac as much as possible uh, if you have a low rebound your your wheels will go down low again so it's re that's okay for really undulating tracks and that but for something like this you want the, your rebound to go um nice and quickly um what else have i done i've played with the gears a little bit um if any of you want to try to set up the link for the car track and setup are in the description below uh see if you can beat my time um and uh, preferably do it on the actual server uh, i can give you a link to the server as well if you want to give that a go um what else in setup uh i didn't touch the camber it's standard camber um so not too much done to the setup and this is a low fuel run as well of course and um, as for racecraft really practice your your lines but some of those corners especially some of the bumpy ones that i mentioned it's bumpy on the racing line it's even worse when you're off the racing line so if it comes to if if there's a contest going into corners and you only have maybe a 50 percent chance of winning the battle um, I mean, a true racer would just go for it, but a sensible racer uh, will back off, especially if they know they're up against it. Um, and if if the, uh, especially because it's bumpy, if someone's battling you and they're on your inside, if they lock up or anything, they're going to go out, wash out white, take you out. So a lot of the time, if you don't have the inside, it's actually better to just back out of the battle. That, that'd be my main bit of advice for this. Um, these don't have brake lights, so be very, very careful very cautious uh, cold tires at the start as well all the kind of usual stuff and um, it's going to be a difficult one to overtake on but if you practice enough and get the pace you're going to find yourself overtaking people because people are going to be making mistakes left right and center so hopefully that's what's going to happen on tuesday night when i stream this i start at the back of the grid we've got two 25 minute races uh, and i see how many places i can actually make up uh, on the grid so hopefully we can make up at least 10. That's kind of our usual target. Uh, we've gotten a couple of podiums out of it and stuff like that. So uh, I look forward to seeing you all there. If you have any questions, give a shout in the comments below and uh, I will chat to you later.